Well, we're back at the Rico Coliseum and the Toronto Marlies with a 3-0 lead over the Springfield Thunderbirds after 40 minutes of play. And we're back here, Bob McGill here with Drake Barahowski. And uh, Drake, a former Toronto Maple Leaf draft pick, and uh, you're the head coach of the Orlando Solar Bears of the ECHL, uh, the affiliate for the Toronto Marlies. And you guys are in town here. You played twice uh, against the Brampton Beasts on Thursday, Friday, and a, a third match tomorrow. Uh, obviously going pretty well as you've won the first two. Yeah, it's, it has been. Uh, we've been fortunate to come out with the points, and uh, we realize they're a tough team, and we'll have our work cut out for us tomorrow. Now, you, you started, uh, you know, the year Orlando, uh, you know, fired their coach, and they brought you in. This is your second stint in Orlando, and uh, you get, you instantly sort of turned things around and, and got going, and obviously you feel very comfortable, uh, you know, in Orlando, working with you know the the ownership group there and uh, you've taken the reins and really the club's doing terrific right now well i, I think it's everything i think the organization is a first class organization um, you know the ownership group is uh, or the owner is, is, a, is a great guy and he allows me to do my job and then having the affiliation with the marley's has been uh, it, it's been the best and uh, i'm very fortunate to have that and kyle dubas has, has worked with us and uh, hopefully yeah. both teams will be successful now, you know, we've had guys come up and down. Uh, Brett Finley obviously started the year and played there with you and over a point a game. Uh, he's been outstanding here with the Marlies. And, you know, a guy like Eric Fye, he leads your team in scoring. I really like this kid. I've gotten to know him a little bit over the last couple of years. Uh, what has he done, uh, you know, so well down in Orlando that really he's your leading scorer? You know, he's been phenomenal. He plays uh, every situation. We've challenged him to put the team basically on his back. And uh, right now he's been working hard. and. He's been getting rewarded for that hard work, so we're really happy to have him. And uh, he's—I don't think we've seen the ceiling yet with him, and he's got a bright future. Now, when you—you you know, but there's been so much movement between the Marlies and, and and Orlando, and you know, what's it like dealing with Kyle Dubas on a daily basis? Because I know that he is a guy that, uh, you know, he's here. I see him here all the time, every day. He's got his finger on the pulse, but there's been so much, uh, you know, back and forth. It's got to be uh, something where you've got to have a good relationship there. For sure. You know, I've known Kyle for a while now uh, when he was in, in, in the Sioux, so uh, he's been really great with us. Um, you know, if, if he calls a guy up, he tries to send someone down to help us out so we're not left uh, shorthanded. You know, anytime I need information on a player, I'll call him or text him and uh, get the right information so we have good people in the whole organization right from top to bottom. Now, uh, Toronto's goaltender situation, uh, the, the Sparks is back from injury, but Casimir Cascasio, uh, you know, when you look at his numbers in the ECHL, they're not terrific as far as his goals against and his save percentage, but yet he comes up to the American Hockey League. <laughs> He's 3-0, and uh, 1.34, and I think a 950 save percentage. Uh, were you surprised or... You know, from what I saw from him last year when he came out of college, he's a real hard worker, and, uh, you know, he's one of those guys that he doesn't lack in any confidence in his game. Uh, but how did he play for you guys, and are you surprised with what he's done so far up here? You know, I'm not surprised. You can see uh, flashes of it when he was down with us. I think working with Grex really helps out uh, on a daily basis, and you, you know he's going to be a good goalie. He's a big kid. He has the confidence, and uh, we're really happy for him. As an organization in Orlando, I know our ownership uh, our owner is, is thrilled with him that he's, he's playing and he's doing well and we want all our players to have success when they come up here. Well, you know, continued success. I know you got a big game against the Brampton Beast tomorrow and uh, good luck. You got a playoff push here and uh, down the road in the ECHL playoffs. Oh, thank you very much. It's nice seeing you again too. You bet. And we'll be back for more with the Rico Coliseum when we come back. The Toronto Marlies with a 3-0 lead over the Springfield Thunderbirds.